now here in this exercise we are going to write the numerator and denominator here 3 upon 7 so 3 is the numerator the number above the line is the numerator 7 is the denominator the number below the line is the denominator let's go to the next fraction 8 upon 11 now 8 the number above the line so 8 is the numerator the number below the line that is 11 so 11 is the denominator the number below the line is the denominator the number above the line is the numerator next fraction 4 upon 5 the number above the line that is 4 so 4 is the numerator the number below the line that is 5 so 5 is the denominator next fraction 7 upon 13 the number above the line that is 7 7 is the numerator the number below the line that is 13 13 is the denominator the number above the line is the numerator the number below the line is the denominator next fraction 2 upon 9 the number above the line that is 2 2 is the numerator the number below the line that is 9 9 is the denominator next fraction 5 upon 8 the number above the line that is 5 5 is the numerator The number below the line that is 8, 8 is the denominator. Next fraction 1 upon 4. The number above the line that is 1, 1 is the numerator. The number below the line that is 4, 4 is the denominator. Next fraction, 6 upon 7. The number above the line that is 6, 6 is the numerator. The number below the line that is 7, 7 is the denominator. Now here in this exercise, we are going to complete the following table. Now it's fraction, addition, multiplication and how many times now the fraction here is 4 upon 5 that means 4 parts out of 5 equal parts of an object so 1 fifth part that is taken 4 times 1 upon 5 is added 4 times then multiplication it also means 1 upon 5 multiplied by 4 since we have written 1 upon 5 4 times and how many times that is 
4 times. So, 4 times 1 upon 5. Now, let's go to the next. 3 upon 4. That is 3 parts out of 4 equal parts. Now, here 1 fourth. 1 upon 4 we write 3 times. Which means 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4. 3 times. Now, in multiplication also, it means 1 upon 4 multiplied by 3. 3 times, so multiplied by 3. And how many times? Again, 3 times. 1 upon 4. Next one, 2 upon 7, which means 2 parts out of 7 equal parts. So, 1 upon 7 is written 2 times, which means 1 upon 7 plus 1 upon 7. In multiplication also, it means 1 upon 7 taken 2 times. And how many times? 2 times 1 upon 7. Next one, fraction 2 upon 3, 2 parts out of 3 equal parts. So, 1 third, 1 upon 3, 2 times, which means 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. In multiplica multiplication also, it means 1 upon 3 multiplied by 2. And how many times? 2 times 1 upon 3. Now we begin with the next exercise. Here the shape shaded fraction read as unshaded fraction and read as. We begin with the first figure. Shaded fraction. How many shaded parts? 2. So we write 2 upon how many parts in all? 1, 2, 3, 4. All the 4 parts. So 4. How do we read it as? We read it as 2 upon 4. Now the next unshaded fraction means the part which is not colored. So 2 parts. So we will write 2 upon parts in all 4 parts. So upon 4. We read it as 2 upon 4. Now let's go to the next shape. Shaded fraction, that means the colored part, 1, 2, 3. So we write 3 upon parts in all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So upon 7. So how do we read it as? We read it as 3 upon 7. Now, the unshaded fraction, that means the part which is not colored, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we write 4 upon all the parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. We read it as 4 upon 7. Now our next shape, shaded fraction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 upon parts in all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 6 upon 8, we read it as 6 upon 8. Now the unshaded fraction, the part which is not colored, 2. So, 2 upon parts in all, 1, 2, 2 unshaded parts in all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
So 2 upon 8, we read it as 2 upon 8. Now the next shape. Shaded fraction 1. So 1 upon all the parts 4. So 1 upon 4, we read it as 1 upon 4. Now unshaded fraction 1, 2, 3, 3 parts and parts in all 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4. We read it as 3 upon 4. Now the next shape, 2 shaded parts so 2 upon 1 2 3 4 5 upon 5 we read it as 2 upon 5 the unshaded fraction 1 2 3 so we write 3 upon parts in all 1 2 3 4 5 5 we read it as 3 upon 5 next shape shaded fraction 1 2 3 so we write 3 upon all the parts 4 we read it as 3 upon 4 unshaded fraction 1 1 upon parts in all four we read it as one upon four 